Hey everyone, this is Max with Asian Geek Squad and today we are doing the unboxing of the new Microsoft Band 2. Microsoft Band 2. Alright, well for me I got the size medium and if you're not sure what size you are, um, make sure to check out our tutorial we recorded earlier to figure out if you're small, medium, or large. Now this device just came out today for a retail price of $249. Let's go ahead and un do the other side. Now I've read some earlier reviews and some people have not been giving this um, favorable reviews but I think that's because they're probably not using it as a fitness band. Um, for me, as you guys know, I'm actually training for the AIDS life cycle which is a 545 mile race. Um, from San Francisco to LA next year. So I'll be using this quite frequently, especially for cycling. All right, so we have the top box here, nothing here. Let's go ahead and take the band out. And in the box we have probably the charger. Yep, correct. So we have the charger here, which latches on to the back, a USB. Nothing else in there. Let's move this to the side. Microsoft Band 2. Now Microsoft Band 2, um, we'll be pairing it with an iPhone, um, but we'll also be comparing it when we pair it to a Windows phone with our Nokia Lumia 830 here. Okay, so contents, charging, Microsoft Help app, welcome them the new. Oh, so that's how we charge it, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. And that's it. Let's go ahead and pop this open. Oh, cool packaging. Okay, so here, what does this say? Oh, and that's just how we charge it. So for charging, you would just take this part and line it up with the square, and you'll see the little dots, the five dots. And there's this whoa, really strong magnet. And there you go. Let's go to add a band. So basically, I'm sorry, what I'm doing here is open up your Microsoft Health account. From there on the right hand side of the menu, let me go yes. You would scroll down to add a band. And then now we're going to select Microsoft Band 2. And I've already paired this by Bluetooth, so it should just work. Huh. Having trouble connecting? Yes. Try again. It is right next to me. Oh, there it goes. English, yes. We are switching with iPhone, yes. Okay, 910282 pair. So do not pair it via Bluetooth, pair it via the application. Okay, there's a software update. Okay, so now application has been updated. Sorry that took so long. Let me make this a little bit brighter for you guys. All right, finish. Yes, please. Getting things ready. Now some features I am looking forward to this is all the different sensors. I like having data 
um, and the fact that it matches with Runkeeper is something that I am really looking forward to considering I've been using Runkeeper since about maybe 2011, 2012. Um, now that it's syncing, press complete, press the action button to continue. Okay, so we'll be pushing this button right here. Ah, that's the time here in Hawaii. Okay, so that's the turn to screen on and off. We're charged at 65% and it has the date already. Now, one thing that I already noticed um, that pr I'm probably going to do out of habit is touching the screen to get some sort of update, notification, or anything like that. But So I don't think that's going to work for us. Okay, so first things first. That's to turn the screen off, and that is the background. And then from there, you can turn it on by hitting it one more time. And then you'll see the different colors. And then from there, you'll be able to navigate. Right now, the Bluetooth is on. The pulse meter is on, even though I'm not touching that particular part. Of the, oh, there I am, of the sensor. And then if you scroll to the right, scroll to the left, rather, you'll see your different... Um, I don't want to say apps, different launch programs, I guess. And from here, you have more settings from here. You can go into airplane mode, non-alarm, things like that, Bluetooth, etc., etc. First thing I want to do though is customize it, and I know you would do that through your Microsoft app via the iPhone, um, well, the iPhone that I'm using now. So um, fortunately here, all you would have to do is scroll down from the menu button. So you just hit the menu button, personalize band, and you can choose the different colors. Uh, I like bright colors. Yeah, something crazy bright. Oh, since I'm with T-Mobile and I love T-Mobile, we'll choose purple. There you go. Team Magenta, right? Save. This might take a few moments. I'm saving information to your band. Now stay tuned, we're going to be doing our first workout tomorrow, so I'll be cycling for about an hour and going through different um, altitudes and things like that just to get, um, just to see how well um, the Microsoft Band 2 works. Now, another thing you can do here is manage tiles after you go to personalize. Um, I won't be using this for too many things except for cycling. So let's see here, heart rate elevation gauge or define your split distance, that's fine. But I want to see how you move this up. Rearrange the tiles on your band trip. Okay, so first most important for me is cycling. Running, the rest I really don't care. I won't be golfing, maybe an alarm at the most. Well, maybe texting. Okay, and save. Okay, so as before, so one tap is to just turn the screen on. Second tap, I don't know if I like that. Second tap, there you go. And now, hmm, should be updated. Rearrange. So the first one we picked was cycling. Oh, I'm sorry. Now it's updating. There it goes. All right, so this is our first hand look of just turning it on and setting it up. Um, so far, there's two different ways to wear this particular device. Um, I've already tried this on at the store before. Um, I don't think I'll be wearing it like this simply because I think it's quite awkward. I It's more natural for me to look at a display when it's located on the outside of my wrist like this. 
So I'll probably be wearing it the other side. Let me just turn this on. Sorry. I think it's more natural for me to wear it like this. So if I'm just running, flick, quick flick the wrist, or if I'm cycling with my hands on descent on the handlebars or on my arrow bars, it's just easier to look for updates and notifications by turning my wrist like that. Um, and I'll definitely give you guys um, battery life updates, further tutorials. But if you guys do have any questions on the Microsoft Band 2, please feel free to leave a comment and we will definitely get back to you and who knows maybe it'll be one of our tutorial videos well this is max with asian geek squad and thank you for watching the microsoft band 2 setup so thank you guys for watching all right thank you bye bye